Auschwitz isn't this way. We're taking you to a free campsite with heating. No return ticket. This took place in Budapest last year when the Hungarian capital was invaded by a demonstration by the extreme right. As police looked on arms folded, the journalist who filmed this had his nose broken in five places. We met up with him six months later. He's still waiting for any charges to be brought after having filed two complaints against his attackers and the police. I looked over our videos from the past years when they are uh, shouting, for example, anti-Semitist words or, uh, or anti-Gypsy words. In the past years, it was uh, a bit um, more uh, covered, but now it's really direct. It shows that um, maybe it's more okay now to uh, speak directly um, and to speak with hate. This rise in extremism fueled a record turnout for the March for Life in Budapest on April the 21st, the traditional march in memory of the more than half a million Hungarian Jews who perished in the Holocaust in World War II. It's also one of the reasons why the World Jewish Congress's plenary session, normally held in Israel, is coming to Budapest this year. Anti-Semitic incidents have risen in the past few months in Hungary, which has Central Europe's largest Jewish community. This is on top of a rising number of regular attacks against Roma peoples. The blame is often laid at the door of the extreme right-wing Jobbik party, the country's third largest political force. One of its leaders made the headlines last winter when he called for a list to be made of members of parliament, the government and civil service who were Jewish and could represent a threat to national security. Public outrage followed. He retorted by claiming he wasn't anti-Semitic and was only looking at double nationality issues. Any citizen of a country that completely disregards international law uh, commits genocide uh, 24 hours a day against the Palestinian people means national security risk anywhere in any country that they go to. And uh, this is the reason why uh, Israeli-Hungarian double citizenship is of um, uh, particular uh, interest uh, uh, to us and also because Shimon Peres, the president of Israel, back in 2007 in October, he talked about my country, Hungary, um, as, uh, as uh, the target of uh, uh, Israeli Jewish businessmen and financial people and this was all uh, mentioned in the context of colonization and building empires. This is an embarrassment for the Hungarian government when it's trying to strengthen good relations with Israel. Beyond political considerations, measures to combat racism and anti-Semitism will be reinforced, promises the Hungarian parliament's speaker, where new house rules have been made. Recently, we reinforced our position on hate speech through the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. With these changes, we can silence any MP whose speech harms the dignity of the Parliament or can hurt other people or groups of people. We can also expel them from a session and the third measure can be a financial penalty. One journalist who prefers to remain anonymous insists this won't be enough to beat a spreading disease. He's on a list of Hungarian Jewish figures that does the rounds of extreme right-wing internet hate sites, where he's the subject of frequent attacks. The commentaries were extremely aggressive, uh, including uh, the regret that uh, the job of Auschwitz was not finished and things like this. The truth is that my feeling of security has uh, disappeared. Not in the everyday, everyday life. I'm not afraid on the bus or in the subway. But I'm very uncertain about my future. I have to tell you that I regard it much more as a European phenomenon. For the director of the Federation of Hungarian Jewish Communities, the country still needs to come to terms with its history before mentalities can change. In Germany, people are confronted with their past, not here. There are things that can't be tackled with laws. 
The most important thing is for things to be clear in people's minds. We need to discuss everything from the past. The only thing that can help us is education, educating the young. Recent recommendations from the Education Ministry, for example, adding authors known for their anti-Semitism during the war to the school's syllabus, sparked protests. It was a suggestion, not an obligation, but for the director of this Budapest secondary school, that doesn't make the decision neutral. When the Education Secretary presented her new program, she stated one objective was to reinforce national identity. We can clearly see these authors are not major ones, and for this reason we can imagine their inclusion is for political and ideological reasons. Another novelty is the introduction next year of religious education classes at state schools. As an option, they can be replaced by classes in ethics. Istvan is a representative of a national parents' network. The simple fact that pupils can be classified at all worries him. I don't think that uh, politicians have to pay for church to, to, to organize uh, religious uh, education inside of of a normal elementary school, the Second World War was a shock for, for all of us. Even today, many of our children and also elders don't want to say uh, to, to anyone what is his religion. The holding of the World Jewish Congress in Budapest has reignited the debate about who's responsible for the wounds of the past, an anti-Zionist demonstrations planned on the eve of the Congress. This Jobbik MP is organizing the protest. She says it's to clarify the role of Hungary's Jews in 1919 and 1945, painful years for her country, and also to speak about Jobbik's current fears. I'm an architect working in urban development, and it's breathtaking to see how many big speculators are around us in this market, representing Israeli investors. It should be clear that these real estate investments may have serious consequences in the long term. It's not only that many houses will be built, but it can lead to a change of population. It might lead to a large-scale displacement. These young people are members of Marom, a Jewish association that tries to build bridges with all sections of Hungarian society via cultural activities. It's one way of fighting against all forms of racism, which has worsened as the economy has slumped. We are uh, closely working with a lot of uh, civil organizations, uh, with uh, Roma organizations, with LMBTQ organizations, and of course a lot of uh, organizations that they are dealing with uh, social problems. If we are able to strengthen the solidarity in the society, we are able to fight uh, against, uh, against those groups that they are not, you know, uh, basically they are alone in the society, they are alone with their, uh, with their hate uh, ideas.